My name is Dylan Baines. I'm an ex-professional FIFA player. I now coach EAFC24 for a living as well as upload YouTube tutorials for you guys. And this is the top three mistakes that I have noticed when coaching clients in the AFC 24. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you doing? I'm hitting you with tutorials day in, day out throughout the year of the AFC, so be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Can we do it? Let's get into it. First up, we are finding the extra pass. The majority of people, when they're attacking in the AFC 24 and in previous years, will get into the 18 yard box. Their eyes will light up and they will have an eagerness to shoot at every first glance of goal that they get. Trouble is, majority of the time, they miss, or the shot gets blocked, or the keeper makes the save. And it's simply because the shooting areas that they're taking the shot from are not sufficient enough to convert the shot. And FIFA, aka EAFC, is a percentage game. It always has been. And we need to increase our percentages when it comes to finishing inside the box. So how do we do that? It's through the extra pass. You see, when you're in the 18 yard box and you have a chance to take a shot, but there may be a defender in the way, the keeper's positioning is rather sufficient to make a save, or your body shape is not in the correct direction. You should always look for the extra pass. And a way to actually get this into your brain, a way to make this second nature, is from now on, look for the extra pass every time you get into the 18 yard box. This will not only increase the percentages of you guys converting shots, but it will also teach you to be less tunnel visioned in this area. It will teach you to be more composed and the majority of the time, the player that you're passing into will be in a better position to get the shot off. So you're increasing your percentages of scoring. That is the beauty about finding the extra pass and people these days don't do it enough. Just hold, hold up, hold up. Did you subscribe? Come on. Thank you. You're sprinting way too much. I honestly don't get it. When I see people sprint too much in their attack and they turn over the ball time in, time out, I wonder and think to myself, why are they doing this when R1 dribbling has specifically been added in by EA into EAFC so that you can keep the ball in tight to you without taking a large touch when sprinting and holding R2? And that's the thing. With sprinting, when you hold R2, the touch is way too large for you to control the ball. You can't pass until you get back onto the end of the ball. You can't take a shot. You can't even dribble away from an approaching defender. When the ball's away from you, which the majority of the time it is when you're sprinting, you can't control the ball. Vice versa though, if you are using R1, it's in tight to you, which means you can turn away from approaching defenders and in general you will have more control to react to whatever's happening on the pitch. So you need to let go of sprint. You need to stop sprinting overall in the AFC 24 unless you are in massive amounts of space. Otherwise the touch will be too large and you'll get caught out time in time out. Your tempo in attack is way too slow. There's so many comments on this channel saying I always get caught out on the ball. Dribbling sucks. Whenever I take a touch into the space Dylan Banks like you've told me to do I still lose the ball. Whenever I kick my back to the opponent he still seems to get the ball off me every time. Well I'm gonna put it down to the fact that you're way too slow on your build up and this is a very very common mistake that I see Game in, game out, client in, client out. They're way too slow on the build-up. You see, pro players, when they're attacking, they're thinking two, three, even four passes ahead of what they're doing in that certain moment in time. They're not in tunnel vision. They're not focusing just on the player on the ball. No, no, no. They're looking all around the pitch. 
and then looking for the next three or four passes they're going to make to break down the defense. You see, the majority of people will spend way too long on the ball with each player and they'll get caught out every single time. You need to be quick. You can't be lethargic. You need to make first time passes when they become available and when they're not, you dribble to the space, you keep it back to the opponent and you go again with another two, three, four first time passes. Tempo is a very important thing in your attack and it's the biggest mistake I see. People are always way too slow in the attack, which is their biggest downfall. So there you have it. That's the top three mistakes that I notice when people are attacking. Now, if you want to get personal one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, you can. The link is down below. In my opinion, it's better than spending money on FIFA points because at the end of the day, a better team is not going to make you a better player. It's how you use that team. It's your skill and ability as well as mentality that will improve your game and get you better results, which will get you better rewards to get a better team. So check that out. The link is down below, but I'm out. Sayonara, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao, goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLANETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.